The Howling Curse of Joy and Bradford, a werewolf horror story. The moon was full and bright, casting eerie shadows on the dense forest. Bradford was walking deep into the woods, his heart racing with a mix of fear and excitement. He had heard rumors of werewolves in the area and had set out to find them. For him, the thrill of the hunt was too much to resist. As he walked, he heard rustling in the bushes nearby. He stopped dead in his tracks, listening intently. The rustling grew closer, and he could hear the sound of breathing. Suddenly, a huge wolf jumped out from behind the bushes, baring its teeth. Bradford was paralyzed with fear, unable to move as the wolf lunged at him. But as the wolf pounced, it suddenly vanished into thin air. Bradford was baffled, wondering if he had just imagined the whole thing. Suddenly, he heard a woman's voice behind him, soft and soothing. Are you lost, my dear? Said the woman. Bradford turned around to see a woman standing in front of him, her hair cascading down her shoulders. She was dressed in a long, flowing cape and stood with a staff in her hand. She had an aura of power surrounding her, and he knew instantly that she was a witch. Who are you? He asked, cautiously. I am Joy, replied the woman. And you are trespassing on my land. Bradford was taken aback. He had never encountered anyone like Joy before. She was beautiful and mysterious, and he was drawn to her power. I didn't mean to trespass, he said, apologizing. I'm just a hunter, looking for a thrill. Joy surveyed him coldly, and Bradford suddenly realized that he was the prey now. He tried to run, but Joy caught him with a flick of her wrist, and he was paralyzed in place. You're going to regret this, he spat at her, his blood boiling with anger and fear. Joy simply smirked and began to chant, a strange language that Bradford had never heard before. Suddenly, a pack of wolves appeared out of nowhere, surrounding him in a circle. Don't worry, my darling, said Joy. They won't hurt you. Not yet. Bradford screamed in terror, realizing that he had stumbled into something far beyond his control. He tried to fight back, but the wolves were too strong. They growled and snapped at him, ripping apart his clothes and scratching his skin with their talons. He could feel the pain searing through his body, and he knew that he was running out of time. Suddenly, the clouds that had been obscuring the moon cleared, and the full moon shone down upon him. He felt a weird sensation coursing through his veins, a feeling of coming alive. He looked down and saw fur sprouting all over his body, his nails extending, and his face becoming elongated. He roared, a howl coming from deep inside him, and realized, to his horror, that he was turning into a werewolf. Joy looked on with amusement as the transformation took effect. She had done this many times before, and she knew just how to control the beasts. Soon Bradford was gone, replaced entirely by a predatory creature, hungry for blood. The pack of wolves circled around him, and Joy gave the signal. The wolves, now led by the werewolf, pounced on Bradford, tearing into his flesh with their razor-sharp teeth. Bradford howled and growled, but it was no use. The creatures were too strong, and he was too weak. As the wolves finished their meal, Joy stood silently by, watching the carnage with cold detachment. She knew that the werewolf would eventually tire and come back to her, under her spell, to do her bidding. 
she was their mistress, and they were her minions. From that day on, no one ventured deep into the woods, for fear of the werewolf pack that roamed there. Joy remained in her witchy home, casting spells and controlling the beasts, forever living in the shadow of the full moon. And Bradford, now nothing more than a heap of bones, haunted the forest, his ghostly howls echoing through the trees, a warning to all those who dared to tread in the domain of the walls. For Joy, it was just another day in her enchanted life. But for Bradford, it was the beginning of a long and horrific transformation, turning him into something he never wanted to be, a monster forever enslaved to the will of his cruel mistress. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and tell us what you think in the comments. And of course, don't forget to subscribe.